Hello everyone and welcome to Fallout 4. Sorry there, for a second there I wasn't sure I was recording. And she wasn't sure what the hell I was doing. So, we're here at the, um, I was going to say at the Minima Minuteman Complex. That's not where this is. It's Brotherhood of Steel. So we're going to try to figure out if they're happy and if they need help. We did get a mission when we saw the blimp. And I'm going to look right now and see what this mission was. So I'm not totally taken by surprise. Um, not Semper and Victia. Um. Huh. I could have sworn. Is it Lost? Uh, well. Okay, so let's actually look at Lost Patrol and see. Anything else? Oh, that's right. Search for other distress signals. Okay, yeah, we could do that. Um, we also need to do that. We have a lot of stuff here. Um. Explore the combat zone. Give Sheffield a Nuka Cola. Really? I mean, I have a couple of those, so okay. Not that I remember who Sheffield is, but yeah. Um, wasn't called arms. I actually don't remember what the mission was. So sure, we're not going to take independence because that's going to give us yet another. Um. Well, having a mean base of operations would be kind of nice, too. Okay, so, yeah, I'm kind of scattered all over the place. Let's go ahead and talk to these guys. Do not, do not, do not start this mission. That's the key. But we'll go ahead and see if they need... I don't know. I don't want to join them, basically, is what it comes down to. But I don't want them to get the wrong idea. I'm, I don't want them to think I'm against them. Just, you know, I'm here to Talent and see if they're happy. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. <laughs> You're just now telling him? Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. I've offered her a place on our team, but I'm not sure she's willing to accept. In the meantime, she's welcome to take shelter here, as long as she doesn't get in our way. <laughs> as long as she doesn't get in our way, it's huh? Okay. Um, Knight Reese, how you doing, man? Excuse me. Halen might only be a scribe, but she can kick some serious ass. I wouldn't mess with There's her if I were you. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood, if you want it. Um, no. No thanks. No. Still not interested. Oh. Sorry to hear that. But I respect your decision. If you ever change your mind, you know where to find us. Yeah, and I hear... I hear joining up with the Brotherhood's actually a really good way to get some really good armor. Um, I could have been mistaken about that. So you guys I'll are just going to babble, Knight aren't you? Says personally. He's like that with everyone. And that's all you're going to say, Halen. right? That's it? Okay. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood. Stop trying to offer me a place in the Brotherhood. All right, so nothing Stuck here we want. You're too damn long. All right, fine. I'm we'll leave. to see some real action. I could have sworn there was a mission that started. So I guess the easiest way, or the, I guess not the easiest way, the um, logical way? I don't know. The way we're going to do this, basically, whether it's logical or whatever, is go through these missions one by one, and eventually we'll get to the one we want. We're going to leave this here. I hate to do it, but I think leaving it for story missions is probably the way to go. But look at this. Already we've had one arm and one leg basically torn to pieces by nothing. Nothing. Some basic fa I was going to say phaser fire. <laughs> this is not Star Trek. All right, so what do we got to do? Let's do, so let's get rid of Lost Patrol because we're not going to do that right now. We could do another story mission, but I think we'll be safer if we level up a little bit. I'd like to be like level 18. So, right, we already did this and now we need to talk to Preston and tell him we did it. Okay. Lost Patrol's basically done. We don't actually have any waypoints for this, do we? Let's get rid of reunions right now. Waypoints for this anywhere? Anywhere? Don't see any. And let's actually look around, see if there's any... Nope. No waypoints. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of stuff around us, but no actual waypoints for the mission. So we'll just have to stumble on stuff, I guess. Yeah, search for other distress signals. Okay. 
Um, Road to Freedom. Continue following the Freedom Trail. I don't actually know what that means. Oh, if I want to find the Institute, I've been told I should follow, find the railroad. The only clue I have is follow the Freedom Trail. Tourist Trail starts at Boston Common. Huh. I don't even remember when this started. But, okay. It's funny, I have two things that say Talk to Piper. Story of the Century and Reunions. Both say Talk to Piper, basically. Okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let's go ahead and do Road to Freedom. I do want to fight the Institute. So... Oh, I need to go to Boston Commons. This should be safe here, especially without a power core. So I think we're fine. I'm debating right now. I'm debating whether or not we go to the vault or we go to Boston Commons. Um... Yeah, I suppose I should put my gun away. It's alright, Nick. Don't panic. Let's go ahead and go to the vault and trade our power cores. I don't love the idea, but I think... I think it might actually be good. Um, is it with this vault? Yeah, I think it was Vault 81, right? So we'll head there. And see if... What happens, basically. I have no idea. It might give us another mission. They seem to be fairly trusting, and as long as I give them what they want, well, we'll see. All right, yeah, so this was the, yeah, all right, this is the right area. Can I run? Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, for a second there, I thought the door was closed. Oh, hey, dude. People. Caravan guard. Brahmin, if you got any sense. I'm not going to. Everyone wants a piece of what I got. Cricket? That's a hell of a name. At least it's honest work. <clears throat> so many guns and so little time. You just gotta buy them. Um. What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot huh, death flying faster than the speed of sound. Ah, oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. You're kinky, I'm sure. Yeah, what the hell, barter? I've got a few minutes to browse. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. And I do have lots of guns. We're not going to sell any of my junk, though. Oh, that's right. I handed all my guns over to Nick. Um, It's fine, right? I don't have any of the guns that I didn't hand over to Nick. I really wish they showed you your companion's inventory... Do they, maybe? Possibly? Okay, Kellogg's outfit, we're actually going to keep. Uh, are we actually not using the right leg for whatever reason? No, because we got the Troubleshooter's right leg, and this is just a standard right leg. Whatever the hell. So, we're going to get rid of the Mining Helmet, too. We can't sell this, obviously. I'm kind of tempted to keep the dress right now, and... She doesn't have all that much in the way of stuff really we're gonna keep all the aid stuff right now so the cyber limit i don't even know what the hell this does san francisco sunlights is the cigarette but the cybernetic stuff i mean it seems like it really seems like installing this would hurt like hell and require something i'm not willing to give up okay that was horrible so what do you have for sale Anything I'm willing to trade? I have 1,300 caps, so I'm actually pretty good. Boxing glove. That just sounds like a bad idea. Cryo cell? Okay. Drifter outfit with the okay stats. Not great. Flare, frag grenade, frag vine. Fusion core. Holy shit, she has five fusion cores. I can't afford five. I mean, it makes sense that they're here. Of course they're going to have fusion cores, because they want to trade with the vault. Huh. Well, that's really, really tempting. I mean, it would basically wipe me out, but it's still really tempting. Missile, okay. Double-barreled shotgun. I think I have... I, mean, I was going to say I have all the weapons I need. You never have enough weapons. Shipment of gears. Interesting. Okay. Spray and pray. That's a legendary weapon. Bullets explode on impact, doing 15 points area effect damage. Interesting. 
How much is that? Twenty-seven thirty-four. Okay, I can't afford that. And then some laser pistols and laser rifles, which I'm okay with not taking. Okay, interesting stuff. I'm tempted mostly by the fusion cores, especially since I'm about to give up three, I think, or is it five? It might be five. But yeah, I don't need any of your stuff. It's all right. Oh, hold on. I was selling you something, wasn't I? So R to accept. Yes. And then get out of here. Okay. Thank you. And then we'll go ahead and walk in here and see if they're willing to trade. There are traders right outside, so it would kind of make sense they've already traded, but you never know. Vault 81. Friendliest vault in all the Commonwealth. Because here, they don't shoot on sight. Well, that's always good to know. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him. Interested now? Um, yes. Um, you know, let me pick. There we go. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. Well, take me down to ten. Fusion cores. We grant the access. But, sure, I'm curious enough. Yeah, sure. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. All right, important safety tip, probably don't piss off the overseer. Overseer McNamara. And then we just go ahead and deliver him. We're also not gonna do a ruse. I mean, it'd be one thing to say, ah, oh, we have your children cores and then shoot everyone. But we're not gonna do that. Oh, nope. A lot of people just babbling. Cow would bust my right. ass if I called out again, too. Um, where the hells are... That's... I'll see what I can do. Oh, you're the overseer. You and I both know we can't keep going on like this. You should stop by and see Horatio while you're here. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in Sorry the Commonwealth. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. That's fair. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Okay. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for this long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. So... Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Sure. Here you go. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. I won't, but Dr. Penske certainly will. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about her, uh, friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If she's lived this long in the Commonwealth. I'm sure she's chosen her friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Okay. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. That's fair. Um. So we're kind of just let free reign. So let's go ahead and talk to people. Hey. Another outsider. What they let you in for? Oh, you're one of the isolationists, huh? Just. Taking a look around. Is the overseer just letting anyone in these days? I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. <laughs> okay. Suppose that's kind of fair. Hello, Neil. Excuse me. So, we got a new visitor today. You're don't observant. say anything, but man, I'd love to be out there. So... It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat, but with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. 
So I wonder what the experiment is. Every vault has an experiment. So what's theirs? They seem pretty functional. Maybe it's just isolationist attitude? That's pretty lightweight in terms of experiments. It doesn't entirely seem like a... It's like vault style. Let's go and keep talking to people. I'm kind of curious. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Well, minimal anyway. Hey, Ashes. What are you doing up here? I feel bad Ashes, where are you going? Oh, hey, little cat. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. You got your cat? guts wearing that pip boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Well, they tried to take it off my corpse, but I objected. Huh. So you're the reason the patrols are double today. <laughs> I'm not going to start anything, man. My gun's holstered. Um, so your security. Hello. Officer Edwards. Hey, guy with a name. We can talk hey. to him. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Will do. So I guess let's go talk to the overseer. So we can find the overseer's office. Gotta be around here somewhere. Probably through here. Oh, it's an elevator. So yeah, probably through here. Um, actually, let's look at the quest thing. Which isn't here. Okay. I thought there was a quest, yeah, for Vault 81. I guess that was it. She said we could talk to her, though. So let's go ahead and go up the elevator. Nick will join us. Chances are he'll spawn right in next to us. Um, no, jeez, man. <laughs> oh, dude, scared the hell out of me. I could have shot you, man. Don't do that. Jeez. All right. So what do we got? Um, a bunch of storage. Hello. Hey, lady. Are you really from the Commonwealth? So they say. Oh, uh, yeah, let's totally be sarcastic. No, no, let's not be sarcastic. Yes, I am. I knew it. Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. <laughs> yeah, okay. You got to appreciate the enterprising spirit, right? How did you know I was here? Gran says I have a knack for finding stuff out that I'm not supposed to. Actually, she ain't my gran. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my gran. When my mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, huh. do you want me to show you around or not? Died, huh? From a horrible, horrible experiment? Sure, show me okay. around. Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Austin, I guess... You're moving kind of slow, but that's all right. So what do we got here? This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Local traders, huh? What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know. But he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Both of those are true. And we probably shouldn't stop at the Overseer's office. Oh, hey, look at the label and everything. We'd totally be able to find it. Um, lead the way in. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. <laughs> okay, so we're not going in. Rules. Oh, she's nice. I like her. Okay. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Real crowded, huh? How many people are in this vault? Usually it's not more than, like, 20 to 30, which doesn't seem sustainable population, to be honest, but these things happen. All right. It's a nice place. Well-grown food and everything. Austin. I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. 
Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. Okay. How is their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Mm, by how is their food, I meant how the heck is their food? Do you guys have farms? But okay, this is kind of creepy, but all right. Doctor's office or Austin, no, it's a barbershop. That hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Cut my throat. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Would he do my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Gran wouldn't let him. Next stop is Gran. Let's go see Gran. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Go ahead and walk. He's out of the way now. You don't have to be afraid of him. It's all right. I mean, he's just, you know, a prototype robot from a shady corporation that likes to create robots to kill things. But aside from that, you don't need to be, need to be afraid of him. Oh, yeah, you do kind of have farms. All right. And we can harvest? Hey, that doesn't seem fair. What are you doing here? Oh, hello. Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's Graham. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts a little grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. This doesn't seem sustainable either. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Graham grows it all here. She's really smart. Hmm. Next stop, Miss Katie. There's got to be like 60 more rooms like Come this, on. but okay. we got to go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. Well, I think everyone has to go to school, but you probably think I'm a lot younger than I really am. Classroom, okay. Hmm, you late for class, boy? Because everyone else is here. Well, two other people are here. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time. But Grand says I have to go anyway. Your Grand is a smart woman, Austin. Nope. Lost it. There we go. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control. Whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. Yeah, hardly anyone likes to go into the doctor. But you still gotta do it. I really need to make a doctor's appointment. I really, really should probably go to the doctor because it's been a couple of years since I've had my checkup. This and we're is just gonna look in, huh? Clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Still use leeches. No, we're not going to say that. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. How did he break his foot? We spent a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Watch Aaron be like a death claw or something, right? It's all right. We're armed. They didn't take our weapons, so if we need to defend ourselves, we can. I'm sure I'm just being hopelessly paranoid, but I keep waiting for the experiment. Where's the experiment? This looks like maybe there's a control group. Is Vault 81 the control group? You're resident. You're not Aaron. I mean, that would almost kind of sort of make sense, but doesn't seem wacky enough. Where the heck is the experiment? I'm waiting for the other shoe. Where's the other shoe? Why the hell isn't this kid in class? Erin, look who I found. The stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? It's no big deal. I'm just a person like everyone else. Yeah, but nobody in the vault hunts for their own food or gets into fights with guns. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. <laughs> 
And we got 91 XP for that. Like this survive out here? Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Um, yeah, actually, I did. What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. Yep. Yeah, I saw the cat. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Um, probably dead. No, okay. Um, yeah, do you have any clues? Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. Um, sure, whatever, kid. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Okay, we could probably do that. Um, in fact, if we do that before we talk to the Overseer, it's possible the Overseer will look more Ashes! favorably on us. Uh, why are you yelling for the cat? We you already know that the cat's not in the... Never mind. Um, how do we get out of here? It's actually down here. I'm trying to remember which way we went. There's an elevator around here somewhere to get out. It says we started the mission. But, um... I've never seen a synth before. It's kind of creepy. Oh, hello. You didn't follow me all the way. Okay, let's actually look at the mission. Yeah, there we go. Here, kitty kitty. And now we go this way to get to the elevator, which is hiding from us. Um, There we go. That's right, because we ran across. Okay, reactor feed. I wonder... I need more seeds. Yeah, Penske is asking for more seeds, so I wonder... We also do her mission. Is her overseer, commissary. Oh, is that the overseer looking over everybody? That's kind of taking the word overseer literally, isn't it? Okay, let's go Sorry ahead and talk to her. Never ends these days. I swear, it's something new every day. Um, hello. Never had an incident on my watch, and I don't want to start today. Okay, so I don't have to check in or anything, huh? All right, just walk right in the overseer's office. Um, yeah, there we go. Hello. Take time to look around. You'll have the full run of the place. Yeah, I noticed that. You're very trusting. Excuse me, Overseer. Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. And that's all she got. Okay. Um, we're not going to unlock her terminal, because that seems rude. That's probably her bedroom, so we're also not going to go in there. We're also not going to steal anything. Um... Kind of weird this specifies undamaged cigarettes. So I guess all the other ones we're finding are damaged? I mean, they have been out in the wasteland for a while. All right, so let's go talk to... to the water pumps again. The let's water talk to this person, funny. see if she has any missions for us. Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, I don't get much time to tidy up these days. No time? Why not? Ugh, where to begin? When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. Sure. Do you run this place by yourself? Well, there's my husband, Hull, but once you need him, he's nowhere to be found. I swear the cat is more help than he is. You mean ashes? The cat? Right, I bet it takes care of all the chores around here. I wish. But Ash is a sweet, faithful, and never runs off. Um, except no, for today. almost never. Yeah. Enough about the cat. What do you have for me? Sure, let's at least look at your stuff. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great, I have all sorts of odds and ends. So what do you got? Ten pound weight. Oh, I see, because it's good for lead. All right, I got you, I got you. Bag of cement, baseball glove... Biometric scanner. Good for nuclear material. Huh. 
Matsu Crystal's Destroyer's right leg. I have no idea what the heck a Destroyer is, but I'm sure it's fun. Fusion Core, what do you know? So lots of people are just selling Fusion Cores. We're just at that point of the game where it's going to be trivial to pick this stuff up. Overseer's Guardian shoots an additional projectile. Interesting. I like the idea, but it costs three times what I currently have. Huh. Wow, 15,000 for this. 10% reduction in action points costs in VATS. Reduces damage while standing and not moving by 15%. Huh. Um, we'll take the pack of duct tape. Just because it's adhesive 4. It's really good. I don't think we want anything else right now, right? Okay, nuclear material 25. I'd love that. But not going to do it right now. And that's about it. So what can I give you that's worth 50? Oh, because I keep forgetting. Hold on, hold on. Exit. Yeah, cancel the trade in progress. Nick, come over here, man. Hey. Do something for you? Yeah, I want all your Whatever stuff. You need. Or my stuff. It's one of those. Yeah, all these. And take all that. Um, we're not going to sell the fat man, so you can keep that. Definitely going to sell the flare gun, because that's useless. This two rifle. If we can sell the junkie's gamma gun, we're going to do it. You should keep the Kellogg's pistol. I'll take that. The cigarettes. Shock baton. And everything else. Okay. And what about... Okay, that's everything you have. All right, good. Anything I can lug for you? Nope, I'm good for now. Hey, anything I can get you today? Yeah, about that bartering, we're gonna Let's do it. Let's see what you got. Great, I have all sorts of odds and ends. So you have some ad adhesive. I'd love that. I'd also love the Overseer's Guardian. Let's see if we can afford it. So we want to trade out all these and that and that and that, uh, not those. Um, not anything with a heart on it. It's a good thing I made those favorite. We trade this. That's going to be great. Buy was only 291, but yeah, we'll do it. And that one. Um, Pulse Granny is not going to give me any great prices there. Take all those, and that's 860. That's nowhere near what I want. But if I sell off. If I sell off my current weapons, would that be enough? So thirty-one ninety-eight. <laughs> yeah, see, there's no way. I need twenty-three thirty-eight in order to even do it. So if I hand over everything, and I mean everything, so how much? What? Okay, uses forty-five ammunition. So if I give up anything else, it uses forty-five, like the hardened combat sniper rifle, which I hate to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, the value is only 63, though. I don't have enough. There's nothing I can do. The only thing that might be worth it is if I sell fusion cores. Oh, that's going to get me a lot of bad comments. Do I dare? Do I dare? I'm kind of tempted. Um, And we can sell the flares. No problem. 22 caps. Yeah, I could do it. I could sell the fusion cores. Value 77? Wait a minute. She'll she'll sell them for 500, but she'll only buy them for 77? Oh, that's totally not worth it. Okay, I apparently need way more skill in um in bartering for that to work. Okay, well forget it then. I'm not going to do that. That'd be a total waste. All right, um, go back to no, no, my, well, I'll go to my guns. If I go to my guns, and I can just look at the, yeah, that one, and unclick it. There we go. So 882, is there anything you have that's worth, because, I mean, you don't actually have 882, so I need to take it in stuff. But we can take it in stuff. Um, that's probably not going to do it. I mean, I already have a right leg. I do like the increased movement speed, but... Though that's not going to work for me. Um, mute fruit. I mean, I could plant that. So that's good. I don't need the whiskey. We'll take the bobby pin. And I guess... I mean, buying rounds is always kind of silly, right? 
but I could probably use it. What's um? So this is a 308. I could definitely use that. The sniper rifle with the 45, and the tactical harden with the 556. Do you even sell 556? You don't. Well, that's disappointing. Okay, I'll take all your 45s though. 970 caps. Okay, so I'll end up owing a little bit, but I think that's fine. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, 504 for a fusion core. You only buy it for 77. That's a hell of a markup. All right, we'll accept this, which means everything else is probably a huge markup. Um, you know what? I'm going to sell the mines. No, no, I'm not going to sell the mines because they're coming too useful. What I'm going to do is sell one of these guns. We have too many weird little guns here. So 308, 45... 556. What do we sell? And 269. I'm looking at the... You know, we're going to sell the Molotovs. All of them. And we don't get much for it, but that at least gives us in the plus column there. Okay. We're good. I keep doing that. Hit tab to get out, not escape. Alright, then we're going to leave. And if we can talk to... Oh, hey, there's someone on the ground there. Sure, right? Oh, that's just a mannequin. All right. Someone just knocked it down. Today. Okay, sure. Hybridization. It's got to... This strain is doing quite well. Hello. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. My latest batch of fruit is doing quite well. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. Um, you talking to yourself or are you talking to me? She apparently doesn't want to talk to me. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is not stealing, apparently. I can harvest the corn. Yeah, nobody complained. Ah, you'll do perfectly. I'm in need of a willing test subject to try this new strain of fruit I've created. <laughs> um, sure, what the hell? Sure. I like fruit. Excellent. Just tell me how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Hmm. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? <laughs> um, sure, what the hell? I mean, I'll eat it. Where's the uh, apparel, aids? So probably there. So fresh fruit. Fresh moot fruit. There we go. It doesn't say it has any radiation, so what the hell? I need the health anyway. <laughs> Auto saving. That's always a little worrying. But it did heal me and did not give me any radiation. Excuse me, Dr. Penske. Did you try the fruit? Tell me, how was it? Um. We'll go with good. It was good. No adverse effects. I knew it. This is good progress. I'll have to start a new batch right away. Since you've been so helpful, maybe you can help out in another capacity. You see, I need these plants to conduct my studies, and they take some special nourishment, especially the carrots. If you could keep an eye out for fertilizer while you're out in the Commonwealth, I'll be more than happy to compensate you for your efforts. Fertilizer? Um. How much are you paying? I'll give you 25 caps non-negotiable. I know how you outsiders enjoy your bartering, but I've never been any good at it. Okay, sure, what the hell. Sure, I can do that. Really? Great. I was dreading having to put in another request to the Overseer. Just bring by whatever you can find whenever you have the time. Okay. I mean, I have no idea what fertilizer looks like. Oh, there we go. Bag of fertilizer. Like that. Okay. Sure. Um, Where did that boy get to? Probably Austin? other people Austin to worry about, Engel. but we're not going to do it. New traveler? You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Every waking moment is an adventure out there. Oh, my. I knew it. My kids would love to hear some of them. Really? Would you be willing to talk to my class? Um. <laughs> too graphic might be true, but we could probably cut that down. I suppose I could tell them a few. I won't let them take up too much of your time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that then. Talk to Katie's already done, but all right. Where's your class again? Damn it! I'm just holding that. Um, that is not your class. That whole duck isn't gonna need replacing. This will be a rare day indeed. I just hope the kids behave. 
This is not your class. Aren't we going to your class? You're going to talk to the store guy first, right? Or her husband, assuming that's who that is. Hey there. So, you're the new gal. I heard we let someone into the vault. Uh, how long do you plan on sticking around? Not very long. Not sure. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we will. We can take care of ourselves here in 81. We don't need to be letting in every stray traveler that comes our way. Well, you're not letting in any very stray one. Just seeds. the ones who offer you I stuff. More seeds. Um, Kitty, we can hey, be moving Katie. along? I'm looking forward to what you'll have to say. <laughs> and then she just stands there. I hope um, you don't have anything that needs fixing. I really don't feel like working. All right, so apparently we're not going to deal with anything. So, Calvin, I'm assuming you're the guy I was talking before. Hopefully yeah. 81 will quit her fussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. Heard you mumbling about a wrench. Hey, Calvin. Sorry, new gal. Not a lot of time to talk right now. I'll be quick. I promise. Ha! We'll see about that. What can I do you for? So there's a lot of upkeep going on right now? Hell, you could say that again. Old lady one here, she's a straight up wreck. Pretty solid for a while, easy enough to keep up with her needs, but in the last few years or so, damn, she got feisty. Been going through tools like they were going out of style, so if you got any, I'd be more than happy to take them off your hands. Huh. Sure, you got yourself a deal. Stupendous. One less thing to bug the overseer about. Anyway, here I am running my mouth when there's work to do. Sorry I can't talk longer, stranger. But mind the maintenance. Shouldn't get in your way, at least. Okay, well, at least we have a place to drop off all those tools that we haven't been picking up at all. But good or to Aaron. know. Her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. Yeah, why don't we go take care of that first? I'm we sure... The water pumps again. The water smells funny. They're doing that. Um, let's go try to find the cat. Nick will join us in a minute. He'll be just a little bit creepy again. And pop, there he goes. Okay. Yeah, see, it was the turning around before that got me. And those creepy yellow eyes. I mean, no offense, Nick, but come on. You gotta admit, a little bit creepy. Especially since you don't have much in the way of skin. Katie Penn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. <laughs> you have your gun drawn. That's always a little scary. Uh, screening and exit zone. Yes, that's where we want to go. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy. Okay, so I guess the cat went out Watch this way. Yourself. So let's go ahead and look for the cat. They're going to leave the door open for us, I think. So I guess we just walk on out of here. And it's hard to tell where the cat went. Could be anywhere. It's also weird the loading screen didn't go up. Okay. Well, there's a marker, so that should make it real easy to find where the cat is. Assuming she hasn't been eaten, and it's actually a marker towards her corpse. You know, just saying, could happen. Um, okay, lots of birds, no need to worry about that. The cat actually go to into the town? Aren't there super mutants in the town? Um, oh, there's ashes. There she is. We don't want to shoot her. She's just rude. Um, somebody's firing on somebody here. Oh, Raider Scum. Well, hello, Raider Scum. I could totally hit your head, maybe? Let's go center a mass shot. There we go. Anybody else? That's a scavenger. I don't know if they're necessarily lethal or, um, I don't want to say lethal, but bad. Suppose yeah, I mean, should make use of it. take all that stuff, I guess. There's a lot of dead people in this diner. Okay, so I don't think the scavengers are hostile, right? That's the word I was looking for before. Oh, no, totally hostile. Um, she's holding a gun on me. Let's do this. Oh, but they're more worried about the super mutant. That's totally fair. Um, there. 
Oh, good shooting. Oh, come on. There we go. You actually shooting at the scavengers? Say, aim their guns at me, but they didn't actually open fire. But they are red. So I don't know. I'm not actually being shot, though. Though it's possible that's because Nick's taking care of it for me. What the hell are you, Nick? Yeah, it looks like you're um, making some friends, huh? What the hell? What are you firing at, dude? You got guts. Well, had guts. What the hell? You opening fire on just some random people? Yeah, it looks like... Okay, you know what? Fine. She's on fire, so she should be dead soon, right? Slowly ticking away, but I don't think the fire is actually doing much. Oh, did not mean to take off your head. Um, I would apologize, but that won't help at all. Okay. I mean, you're dead now, so I guess it doesn't really matter. There's another one over here. I mean, Nick's already firing on him, so what the hell? Um, that didn't actually help at all. And I realize I'm going deeper without even... Oh, that was like a blind shot. All right, Nick, you happy? We killed the poor little scavengers. Now let's go find this cat and get the hell out of here. Assuming there aren't any super mutants lurking around every corner, which is possible. But the cat was just standing, like, right over here. Hey there, kitty cat. You're not going to lead me on a wild chase, are you? Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. Really? That worked? <laughs> oh, dude, if only cats actually worked that way. I mean, I guess, you know, an additional 200, 300 years of domestication, they might actually start listening to, uh, to people. It could happen. Yeah, it looks like she's actually headed that way. All right. Sure, what the hell? Could happen. And then we'll talk to Katie's class. And that'll be it for now. And we can find any... The cat actually go inside? Oh, there we go. If we find any tools, that'd be great too. But I don't think that's going to happen this episode. I might as well put my gun away. Don't want security to get the wrong idea. We are totally friendly here out in the Commonwealth. No worries. Okay. Careful, um, outsider. Didn't see the cat actually come back, but you got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. All right, so in we go and hit the elevator, and Nick's lagging behind as always. It's all right; he'll materialize in a minute. There he goes. Uh, funny, I never noticed that patch on your left arm there. Do you need more clothes, man? I could probably pick you up some clothes. Do you want some clothes? I mean, I might even have something. I don't know. I mean, it just seems like that's kind of a ratty trench coat. I mean, I realize it's probably your favorite. I don't mean to knock it, certainly. Just, you know. Um. So that's not it. Must be down here. We got a barber here if you need it. I'm not saying you do. Um, hello, It's been resident? a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. Okay, so good. This is Aaron over here. But work never ends in Vault 81. That's what I hear. Okay, let's, here we go. You found him. Oh, him. Thanks, ma'am. I was so worried about him. Um, I almost died. That's a little hyperbolic. It was no big deal. You're still my hero. Mom says I can give you this. Ashes. Fusion core? <laughs> I was so worried about you. What the frell? Mom's going to make me give you a bath. Hold on. Your mom I know, handed I don't over like either. But I'm just happy you're back. I have a perfectly capable husband who refuses to be of any use. Um, okay. I'm going to leave you to that. Nick, come on, man. There, there's a domestic issue. You need to exit the facility. Um, where's the store? Where's the store? That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the um, the uh, classroom. 
This is not a classroom. Oh, you know what? There's probably atrium, overseer, security exit zone. That's not it. Is it downstairs? Might have been downstairs. Reactor, we're not going to go to. Seems like that area would be off limits. Because, you know, they need that. Um, that's the medical bay. You know, even though we took the tour. Can't imagine you come across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Even though we took the tour, I have no idea where I'm going. So, is that a mission we can just look up here? Data. Short stories. Yes, it is. And that'll tell us where we need to go. Um, straight up, apparently. I wouldn't give for some real time off. So maybe the experiment here is just making everyone not only isolationist, but really, really determined to make sure they're... Um, Yep. I can't oh. wait to see how excited the kids will be. Yeah, we probably need to wait a certain amount of time for the uh, kids yes. to be ready for story time. So this is where the classroom is, right? Um, not there. That's a barbershop. Um. <laughs> okay, you know what? I need to be able to sit down somewhere so I can wait for the class to start. That's the store. We need a doctor. Forsyth and Rachel are down in the medical center. Hey, jump down here. Yes. That's the barbershop, which we don't want. I am totally turned Dr. around. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Though Katie was headed this way. I heard we had a trader in today. But I don't think she's going to the class. I mean, maybe she is. It seemed like the middle of the day, really, but... That is a bedroom. Or a... Yeah, that's somebody's room. It must be rough. Living out there. I would love to just sit down for a minute so I can actually let time Dr. go by. Penske runs a hydroponics lab here. She may have some work for you if you're interested. Can I let yeah. time go by? Oh wait, yeah, there's a bench right here. Yeah, sit down on that. That's not something to sit down on. Um, do you mind scooting over a little bit? A I just want to sit. See Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. All right. So I just want to wait. It's 9:33. Yeah, it's a little late for school. Okay. Um, why don't we wait here for 11 hours? I mean, it's kind of, um... Surprise security is not going to grab us for... I wanted to say negligence. What's the word? We hang around. Loitering. That's the word. I mean, it's basically taking a small nap. Just on a bench somewhere. Probably their first homeless plan, uh, problem ever, but that's okay. And then the classroom... There's the class right here. Hello. You wanted me to talk to these kids. Would you like to kids. tell the students one of your stories now? Sure. <laughs> Are there any topics to avoid? What topics should I avoid? Nothing with excessive violence. And I'm sure they'll have lots of questions. So, sure. I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. For better or for worse? Did you a cloth? Yes. Yes, I did. One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? Um. So, yeah, might as well tell him. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? It's a weird angle there. Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. Um when the death claw crawled out, Preston was ready with his laser musket. He kinda I sorta was. Glad he was there. Really weird angle, Aaron. Just saying. Um <laughs> I wonder what three shots will be, but we'll do Preston help me. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> and we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Oh, hey. Well, we don't do unarmed and melee attacks, but sure, thanks. All right. That was decent and not horrible. And nobody seems horribly traumatized, so I think we're good. Katie. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. I was just wondering if I could tell another story, but I don't think so right now. Probably like one per day or something like that. We're totally not going to hang around for that, though. 
Okay, so there's a. I have a marker. I have no idea Thank why. God, Ashes is back. Aaron is crazy about that cat. Another lamp. What the hell do these people do to them that they keep breaking? Okay, so we'll get the hell out of here. It's so funny, we got a fusion core for helping find a cat. <laughs> but if you're looking for a fusion core, folks, apparently go to Vault 81. You have to trade in three, but you'll get one. And I guess if you have no scruples, or at least, you know, you're playing a character who has no scruples, you could probably go to the reactor room. Or even if you have no scruples, you could just Don't say that you're going to hand over the cores and then, you know, shoot everyone. It'd be a tough fight. Security is everywhere. But you could Work do it. Never ends. If you really, really wanted to, you could totally do it. It'd be a really tough fight. Security is freaking everywhere. Good work on the cat retrieval. I thought for sure Ashes was a <laughs> And everyone's apparently heard of it. That's pretty hilarious. That cat must be really popular. All right, we'll get out of here. We'll probably never come back. Um, if we have a bunch of tools or something, I might consider coming back. But yeah, lunch pail, blast radius, board game. I'm not too worried about anything here. Okay. Yeah, if we have a bunch of tools, we might come back for this, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Was it worth the three cores? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I think that was probably the worst deal I could have made. Now, granted, I could buy the five cores here. I was going to say take. I could also do that. If I shoot these guys a lot, they'd probably Sorry, give up their cores. Anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. Oh, these are not the same traders. Sorry, Nick. Mercenary. So what do you got? Hey. Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. So this is like a trader's outpost camp is really what this is. Okay. Okay. All right, so I think the marker is... What is that for? Oh, it's got to be the Freedom Trail thing. Okay. So that's where we're going. All right. We are pretty close to the end of the episode, though. So I'm going to go ahead and say good night or good afternoon. I guess this is going up at 1 o'clock. But you guys could be watching any time. It's the beauty of the Internet. So we're going to head off to the Freedom Trail. It's going to be where our next episode picks off. That was a nice little break. Very little in the way of shooting things. Shot a couple of things, but not very many. Mostly just wandering around and told our adventures the Death Claw. We might have embellished Preston's role a little bit, but that's okay too. Um, we should also be paying attention to Vats. So should we just head straight? What's the harm, right? Well, we'd have to cross over the river. That's a problem. And I don't know exactly where we're going. There's a marker on the map, but it's just heading in this general direction. And I don't actually see any corresponding icon. So it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell where we're going. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll head on the Freedom Trail. More or less on the road. If I can find a bridge... There's a bridge right across over there. Um, without getting shot to death by Death Claws. That would be great. Um, there's a smoking corpse over here. That's always encouraging. Oh, that's actually a flare. Are these the guys we picked up? Oh yeah, these are the guys we shot. That was the the smoking corpse there is the is the super mutant we killed. So that's fine. Alright. Yep, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Fallout 4. I've been PC Universe. You're PC Universe too. That's Nick Valentine in the background, and I'll see you guys next time.